The military campaign to recapture the city of Mosul this week is the biggest test yet for Iraq's armed forces and allied militias. With the help of an air campaign by the U.S.-led International Coalition, these forces have fought for two years to retake territory seized by ISIS in a 2014 blitz, which saw the militants overrun Mosul as Iraqi forces fled. At the front lines about 30 kilometers east of Mosul, Iraq's Kurdish Peshmerga forces say the relative speed of their advance shows ISIS is getting weaker and that the long-awaited battle for the city could go faster than expected. But the trail of destruction these fighters leave behind is an ominous sign. Even in these small villages, there are secret tunnels and booby traps made out of everything from air conditioners to laundry machines. The tunnels underneath the ground are long, like mining shafts, and are replete with kitchens, sleeping quarters, and sometimes even carpeted floors. Some security analysts suspect Mosul could make a dramatic last stand for the jihadi militants. But even if they choose not to do so, their tactics, like booby traps and tunnels, can make it difficult to ensure stability in recaptured territories. Some Peshmerga fighters recalled recent cases where suicide bombers came rushing out of an undetected tunnel, blowing themselves up among Iraqi forces. Here in Badina el Sagira, a small village captured on Monday by the Peshmerga, there are signs everywhere of ISIS efforts to make even victory painful for its enemies. One fighter shows the FT an area where the militants appeared to have been making improvised explosives out of cooking pots. Major Mohammed Karim shows the FT-1 house where piles of old air conditioners and laundry machines are stacked, intact except for the timers, which have been ripped out to use for bombs. Iraqi officials say the battle for Mosul will come in stages, with soldiers working to solidify their hold on these surrounding villages before pushing towards the urban center. Iraqi forces say they have captured 20 villages in the first 24 hours of their campaign, but some of those villages are now being overrun again by ISIS militants with the help of these tunnels and bombs. Mosul officials living in exile in northern Iraq say they are calling on residents to help them so they can get as much information as they can about a network of tunnels they believe runs beneath countless buildings inside the city. There are around 1.5 million residents believed to be trapped inside Mosul, with increasing concern that these residents could become human shields for the group, impeding ground advances and the airstrikes. In northern Iraq, I'm Erica Solomon with the Financial Times.